Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we're going to talk about the market, Bitcoin, ICOs that are upcoming, some ICOs that we just invested in, check them out, see how they're doing and if we should stay in them, a new strategy that I'm going to be doing with my coins and then I'm going to present to you my ICO worksheet that I have been working on for the past few days and then finish it up with some crypto news. Well, let's get started. So let's check out the market. It's actually pretty green. There's only two in the red right now. We got Funfair and Nano, which used to be rail blocks. This is completely opposite of what we've been used to. It's usually double digit reds, super depressing, not fun to look at. I know a lot of your portfolios have suffered. If you didn't jump out and get into Tether, you're probably just panicking or just holding and forgetting about your portfolio for now. Bitcoin is around 9,500 right now. That one reached all the way down to I believe 7800 yeah. $7,800 Bitcoin. We were talking about a thousand or 10,000 being the bottom. This is getting ridiculous. Now I do want to talk about some ICOs that are coming up. First we have credits. That one I am super excited in. I'm pretty sure you can jump in if you're from the US. We also have current. This one, Mark Cuban's behind. And then autonomy. This one's also one that I am excited about. We'll be doing a video for sure on current and autonomy. Let me know if you guys are jumping into any of those three. If you're excited, what do you think we can expect from those ICOs? Now, outside of that, we have, I know a lot of you, including myself, <coughs> jumped into Xpire. So this one was seven cents for pre ICO, 10 cents for the ICO. So it's under the ICO price. This is kind of depressing, but I'm not worried. Um, just stick in it. This one's got some good partners. If you want to sell it, go ahead. I, I'm not going to. I'm going to hold it for at least some profit. This one is my main one, though. I really like Blockport. We're at $17 million, so it's just above the ICO price. But this one, I feel, has great potential. And this one, I plan to stick in for a long time. I do want to get more, but I guess we'll see. Outside of that, my ICO sheet. So this one I'm excited to talk to you about. I have been discussing this with my Discord that I will be doing this. It's similar to Oh Hey Maddie, Ian Blina. I want to do my own so we can just try to find the best ICOs out there together. So as you can see, these are past ones. Green check just means I've gone through with uh, another buddy of mine and we have finished those ratings. So Wan Chain got 104%. I know it's a little higher than 100%, but this is how we're rating. 100% <laughs> supposed to be max, but it just shows that Wan Chain would have been such a great coin to jump in that you would not want to miss it. And of course, if we all look back, that's how we would have felt. Bounty Xerox got about a 90% and then Quantstamp got an 85. We look at the hard cap, the token price, circulating supply, what kind of products they are, the prototype, whether they have one or not. So the impact on the space, their team, advisors, then we'll give you the KYC if whitelisted or if if you're forced to whitelist or if it's US restricted. And we're still trying to think of additional information. Like I said, this is super new, super alpha phase. And I wanted to show you the completed ICOs because this is kind of how we are deciding first because we wanna see what would have happened if we would have had this a few months ago. If we're able to judge the good ICOs that have had good returns and find out, look, this rating is working, we can apply this to the current ICOs and see what happens. So I will be doing this for current credits and autonomy as soon as possible. I'll show you guys this when I do the reviews or coin analysis for an ICO. I will try to present it on here so you get a, a score and all the other information that you need. Let me know what you think. Do you guys like this idea? I would love some feedback. Now, what am I doing with my portfolio, with my coins that I have? Basically, I do have several gems that we were looking at back a month ago, two months ago, which I've made a pretty good profit on, times four, times five. I do plan on jumping out of those right now. I'm not gonna go for a super low price, but if I'm eight, up times five, even times three, 
I'm jumping out and I'm gonna throw that money into the coins that I know are super good for long term. So Dragon Chain, Quant Stamp, and then save up for the WAN Chain release that, who knows, could be right around the corner. Let me know, what is your plan? Are you holding your coins? Are you jumping into the ones that you love? I would love the feedback there also. We can all help each other here. Again, I'm in my Discord. Now for the uh, crypto news, we're looking at, of course. <laughs> so we have Bank of America and JP Morgan, which is Chase, ban credit crypto purchases. So basically the two banks said they will no longer allow customers to purchase Bitcoin with credit cards, but you can still use your debit card or ATM. Supposedly they're concerned that customers being able to purchase more crypto than can actually afford. I find this kind of strange. They don't really seem to care too much or put bans on other stuff. I can't, they're not like, oh, I wanna go buy a TV at Best Buy. They don't message me or call me and say, hey, we don't think you can afford that TV. Sorry, we're gonna deny that. I feel like this is kind of weird. So I'm not a huge fan of the bank trying to tell me what I can and can't do. Granted, this is a credit card, so it kind of is their money and it is their decision what they wanna do. So either way, this doesn't affect me directly because I don't bank with either of those. If you do Bank of America or Chase and you were using your credit card, are you gonna just use your debit card or what's your plan? Also, I don't really put any more of my own money in. I just use my profits to deal. I'm hoping a lot of you do that. And if you don't, don't put more money in than you can afford to lose. Of course, we all know that. Let's just hope we all live and actually follow that. So outside of that, this is my video. Give me your opinion on the ICOs that are coming up. If you're in the ICOs that we just talked about, my ICO sheet that I will be talking about more. I don't know if I'm going to release it yet. If it is, it's going to be to my Discord first. I love your opinions. Thank you so much. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button below, and I'll see you next time.